Our top focus story this morning is an India Today exclusive as Jawans of the Indian Army and Air Force pilots and crew members walk round the clock rescuing people in Jammu and Kashmir. Here's an inside look at their concerns. From fighter squadrons to torpedo firing choppers to the humble artillery gun, our men in uniform are facing a crippling shortage of equipment. Here's a full report. When this epic battle against an unforgiving adversary is complete, when these soldiers get back to guarding India against external threats, they'll be reminded once again of their very worrying situation. But does a hundred-day-old Prime Minister fully understand that the three armed forces are severely hamstrung by a lack of crucial battlefield equipment? Because the truth is dire, the paralyzing lack of any meaningful modernization of India's military over the past decade has crippled our forces. The deep freeze only aggravated by a part-time defence minister. The India Today cover story pushes the question that few understand the criticality of this time. Does the Raksha Mantri have enough time to save the Indian defence from all-out disaster? Five of the biggest military gaps in front of Modi government paint a full picture of how bad things really are. From fighter squadrons to submarine force levels, from torpedo fighting helicopters to the humble artillery gun and the very Jawan battling floods as we speak, Modi's inheritance from the UPA couldn't be more grim. Over 100 days, the government has made crucial policy decisions on indigenous capabilities and how to deal with kickbacks cases. But on ground, at sea and in the air, the war fighters still endlessly for over $35 billion in promised weaponry including 126 fighter jets, basic weapons, radios and equipments for thousands of infantry soldiers, refueling tankers to give Air Force jets greater reach, multi-role helicopters for shipborne operations, desperately needed light helicopters to service Indian positions in Siachen and the rest of Ladakh, and minesweeper ships to clear hostile harbours during war. But what if Defence Minister Jaitley had more time? Would that help things? Perhaps. But his ministry is still deeply hamstrung by a paralyzing fund crunch that makes many of the extensive modernization commitments of the earlier government a pipe dream and a homegrown weapons development capability that is plain embarrassing. 100 days is plenty of time for a prime minister who promises high octane decision making. The question now is can he sidestep the landmines in India's abysmal state of defense to create a stronger nation? With India Today's Sandeep Unnithan and Manu Pabbi in Delhi, Bureau Report, Headlines Today. And Deputy Editor India Today, Sandeep Unnithan now joins me live in the studio. Former uh, Sandeep, it appears like after a decade-long freeze, it's now 100 days of a part-time mantri that's really uh, plaguing our services. What do you make of this report that you've put together? What's the way going forward? Well, Rishika, as uh, we just heard, uh, one of the most baffling aspects of this government is the fact that uh, they don't have a full-time defense minister. There's been a drift over the past decade, a policy drift, uh, a, 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 a crisis of uh, vision, and that is compounded now by the fact that you don't have a defense minister who can pay full-time attention to uh, and even implement the uh, vision of his government. I right. mean, there seems to be a very clear drive on the part of the Modi government for indigenous defense capability. But that, uh, unfortunately, I mean, that really needs a full-time person to push that agenda. Right. Also, uh, you know, would you at, at any point in time give the government perhaps a little bit of leeway saying there is also a fund crunch that is, you know, adding to the woes of the defense services? Yeah, certainly. I mean, the fund crunch has been there for a couple of years. And uh, what happens if, when, when there is a front fund crunch is that you don't say that you, you halt modernization. You rationalize your purchases. Absolutely. You decide on what, what your priorities are going to be. Well, what happened in the last couple of years was that the, the resources that were allocated, even the, the reduced uh, budgetary resources were diverted to be, you know, buying uh, very high value uh, off the shelf purchases from right. abroad, which didn't really contribute to the overall defense preparedness, which is one of the points of the story. Right. Thanks, Sandeep, for joining us with that perspective. It's a story we're going to continue to track very closely all day here on Headlines Today. Clearly, the Modi Sarkar has some very serious and tough questions to answer there.